Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different fountain pen uh, video. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a pen which I just received literally like a few hours ago. So let's just uh, get on to the unboxing. So this pen, I ordered it from Japan. Uh, obviously packed very well. And as you could possibly read, um, the pen that I bought was a Platinum. It's a very nice uh, packaging actually. It has a uh, outer cardboard sleeve for to remove. And you know, inside you have uh, just a plain, it's uh, nothing special. It, it feels like cardboard. And this is the pen, right? So, um, as you probably would have known by looking at the video caption, uh, it's a uh, 3776. So we'll take a look at the pen later on. So it comes with a, you know, you can buy it with a converter, but it's pretty rare. Most of the times it comes with a cartridge like this. You can see, kind of see the ball bearing here, right? Typical. Um, platinum cartridge. See what else it comes with. So this is a lined material of some sort, like a velour warranty card, which is always nice. Feels like you're buying something um, expensive. So it says warranty period one year from date of purchase. Valid for fountain pen models twelve uh, twelve thousand yen and above no stamp the user manual users manual and basically it's uh, how to use a fountain pen so I mean you can definitely read this at your leisure I'm kind of impressed that it came in, in English also has a Korean Presume this is uh, Spanish, Chinese. I think this is French. So I don't think there's anything else. No, there isn't. So I'll just put everything back into the box very quickly. And I'll put the sleeve that the pen came with as well. It comes with a little label or a little tag with the, the model number of the pen, which is PNB1300. And as you, I'm not sure whether you can see, it's a soft, fine nib, which I ordered. I'm going to take this off right now. So what I typically do with all these boxes, I would just put it in the cupboard. I mean, I'm not one of those people who will chuck the boxes um, and then I will keep the pen separately in my pen case so uh, first impressions it's it's actually very well made you know better made than I thought it would be from looking at all the YouTube videos believe it or not this is only my second platinum I have a preppy which my son is using um, this is like my first higher-end uh, gold-nibbed pen from, by Platinum. So I'm just trying to read out what it says here. It says made in Japan, which is nice, 3776 century uh, and Platinum, right? So I, I'm sure there's many, many videos out there in terms of what this pen looks like. Uh, but it doesn't really do justice to how the pen feels in the, ha in the hand. So my first impressions is it's very nicely polished and smooth. And there's actually a heft to it, right, which I didn't expect. Um, the cap itself, it 
it actually has some weight probably because of this clip um, that's sticking up the weight in terms of the the you know the business end of the pen which is the writing part this is actually very very light so definitely it's balanced more towards the cap which actually is some something which I do not prefer um, as I mentioned in my previous videos when you do this you definitely can feel this this end resting I like to have a balanced pen um, but this could be just me and as expected there's there's nothing in there this part of the pen is actually steel or metal right which is nice and getting to the other parts of the pen um, these parts which are, I think are called the finials they look pretty normal just just like a kind of rounded and then the most important part obviously is the nib so I'm not sure whether my camera is focusing it's actually looks all, all right uh, it's a little bit flat as you can tell and the usual platinum there's a little heart uh, in the feeder hole I'm not sure what the name of this part of the pen is and it says here 3776 with a platinum logo and 14k and SF that's that's uh, all that I can make out there are some numbers down here some words this is Japan on the right which you probably cannot see because the pen is my my um, camera isn't really focusing so I'm gonna pop the cartridge oh, sorry the yeah the cartridge into the pen because I do not have the platinum converter I'm not even gonna rinse it out or anything like that so I'm just gonna pop it in straight so that I think it's in you can definitely feel the resistance at least I hope it's in and let's try a little bit of uh, writing okay I'm back it took a little bit of um, a bit longer than I thought for the feed to start flowing with ink so let me do a little bit of writing right so first of all this is the platinum three seven seven six and this is the soft uh, fine sorry about that and it's it's a uh, probably platinum blue So my it's the first time I'm using this pen. This explains probably partially explains the, the terrible handwriting. But uh, the nib is definitely soft. It flexes ever so little when I apply pressure. So it flexes this way, right? I'm not sure whether you can see on the camera. Um, and this way it's it's fine. Uh, I mean moderately wet right just I just inked it so I mean you know take it as what you will the other point that I want to make is um, the feedback um, is not as pleasant as let's say a sailor right the sailor feeling which a lot of people uh, kind of uh, mentioned is it be, it writes like a pencil but this one um, definitely doesn't right 
it it's it's okay but there's a, just a tiny bit more feedback than the sailor right so i mean i will kind of use this um, nib for a while to kind of get used to it and i might kind of uh, make a make a call whether or not i want to smooth out the nib a little bit right because i do feel ever so uh, slightly the catching of paper with uh, the paper fibers with with the tines somehow it is a very very fine so i mean it's a so-called japanese fine so it's it is really fine uh, in terms of the nib so um, that could be another consideration so um I didn't really talk about whether or not it's comfortable or not. I mean, this section area is pretty small, but I'll take my time to kind of get used to the pen because I, you know, obviously I just open it from the box and I'll give uh, some of my impressions in the comments or maybe in another video if people want to see it. Um, let me know yourselves in terms of your comments. By the way, this, the th screw threads are not really biting to my hand and there's actually quite a lot of screw turns in order to to kind of uh, close the pen but that's fine i'll be interested to know your thoughts um, about this pen um, or any comments in general about the channel uh, let me know if you have any feedback or and please subscribe so you'll get uh, more of the content um, and in the days coming up so again, thanks for watching and um, I hope you have a good day. Thank you.